This is the latest addition to my uh, Cam 3 milling machine running under Mach 3 control. Is I now have a laser etching system. I bought some uh, 2 watt laser diodes off of eBay, got a package of them, and they need quite a bit of cooling. So I've machined up a brass block which acts as all the cooling for it and also holds a focusing lens. Uh, the beam coming out of here is a bit divergent and doesn't come to a point at all. So this is um, optics designed exactly for the wavelength of the laser, which is 808 nanometers. And focuses it down to a point which is just a couple of thousandths of an inch across. Uh, when it's being driven by the power supply, this whole head sits up at 2 volts, the voltage of the laser diode. And so I've got a, I've turned a fiberglass um, rod that allows me to mount it into the milling machine. And the uh, one thing you always have to do when you're doing with the lasers is make sure you've got a good pair of protective eyewear. These ones are designed exactly for the 808 nanometers and let most of the other light through. You can get less expensive ones which uh, block out more frequencies but when you put them on they're quite dark they're like wearing sunglasses whereas these are quite um, quite transparent for normal light and the uh, circuitry I designed up to drive this has a um, 5 volt switching supply which is heavily filtered uh, puts out up to 5 amps and that goes through a uh, transistor which is under linear control from an op amp and after the transistor, the NPN transistor, there's a four terminal current sense resistor which senses the um, the one to two amps going through into the diode and uh, that gets fed back into the op amp and controls the output power. So it allows me to um, turn on the diode and set the current of the light coming out and I can either have it on all the time or I can flip the control so the uh, Mach 3 turns it on and off as it's doing its work. If I uh, turn it on now and put it up to about an amp that means it's about 1.7 watts of power coming out and if I move the uh, mill down when it gets towards the focal length it will start to burn. I scroll sideways, it uh, is burning into the wood. So I'll turn that off and show you how it works under the Mach 3 control. So I'll flip the control over to the Mach 3. And then the other thing we need is be uh, because I'm cutting wood with it, it creates quite a bit of smoke. And so you need a fan running to blow the, uh, the smoke away. So I'll get this to start here. And then it gets to the point it turns on the laser beam and starts cutting. So it's turning on and off the laser beam as it goes over the various points. And right now it's running just under an amp, which would be, um, the head uses about 1.7 volts, so it's gonna be about 1.5 to 1.7 watts of power. I'll uh, do a zoom in on it. 